Hey, welcome to another video making the game Songbringer. Yo, so today I'm working on um, this process where I'm getting basically, uh, this is really cool. Uh, my publisher, Double Eleven, has got uh, all the strings translated for traditional Chinese. So um, this is going to be neat. So basically, it already had, uh, I don't know what the other, it's not. I don't know. There's there's another kind of Chinese. It's not not like Mandarin versus Cantonese, but anyways, um, there was already one in there. But now there's going to be the one that's more popular, basically. So that's going to be cool. Um, so I've got everything kind of like tweaked so that the uh, the graphics are looking a little bit better with Chinese uh, and how it displays the st the fonts and everything. But there's a few issues in that the translations um, feature some letters which are missing um, from the font. So, um, it's, it would be super complicated if someone were to go by hand and look at all these strings and look at which characters are missing and then find, sort all the missing characters, uh, make them unique, and then add them to the freaking font. So, what I'm doing here is I'm writing a little script which goes and finds all of the missing characters and then it's going to go and make them unique and then I'm going to... Um, if I have time, I'm going to go and add them to the font definition so that basically this whole new traditional Chinese, where's the simplified Chinese? Maybe it's simplified. I don't know. Um, uh, this will be ready to go. So this will be up on the beta version soon. So uh, here we go. Back to the coding. So here's what I'm doing right now. I'm basically going and um, creating a little mock script which runs when the game starts. It loops over all languages so including Chinese as well. I'm also going to see if maybe there's some missing characters in English or Spanish or German or well, there's a whole bunch in there that might have missing characters too. So just check all those. Basically it's creating a label and then uh, it'll delete the label but when it creates this label it goes into this function here in um, in Cocos 2DX, which creates a, all the characters based on its letter definitions, and if it doesn't find a letter, then it outputs to its log. So basically, it's going to output to its log whenever there's a missing letter, and then I'll go and process all those, all that data into a separate file, and then sort it, and that will give me a list of all the characters that are missing. So let's make sure that can run. Um, we want to create it and then just delete it. So we've already. This is a. Oh yeah, so we want to go um, L dot um, remove from parent and clean up true. Okay. Let's just try that for just Chinese at first. This is cool. We want that. Okay, so we run it from here. This has some custom code basically that outputs the uh, string or the missing letter with UTF 16. Um, Coco's 2DX's default outputted it with UTF-8 and it just looked, it didn't work in the log file to find out which letters they were, so I have to use this UTF-16. Okay, hopefully it ran. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, maybe I didn't wait long enough. Good. 
Oh, there we go. What? That's it? No, that can't be all. Oh, no, it is. Oh. The Gemini stance. Okay, so let's wait three seconds so we can get past some of these other logs, statements, and all that. That's great. Holy crap, did I just do that? I can't believe this worked so quickly. What? Error. I am error. Remember that character from the Zelda 2? Oh. That was a much shorter list than I thought. That's great. Super great. Hopefully some of those are unique. Okay, there, it obviously ran. Nice, look at that. Oh, why didn't it? Oh, I ran it from the wrong place, yeah? Did I, what? from there. Oh, this is weird. Maybe I need to wait for it to, like, it might actually have to do this. This is kind of janky. You just leave this all, whatever. Oh. Run that. It might have been deleting it before it could even load. Okay, yeah, there's a lot more characters than I thought. Son of a... Shazzle. Pleased to be a lot of non... Oh my god. Really? It's like an entire elf. <laughs> Dude! Okay, yeah, a lot of these are not... Are, gotta be not unique. Okay. Still be running. Now we're, I think we're good now. Okay, so let's create a new file. Let's see if I have this. Oop, okay. Only 3,000 lines. See this as uh, it's missing that text. Visual block. Okay, and we're gonna go down to. G, oh, check it out, what's up? Yeah, Vim. Your tits, Vim. Okay, so there's all our missing characters. Oh, how do you do, I think it's, um, let's make a backup copy of this. Could be missing to the desktop. 
Okay, so now we go sort you. No. Sort you. I think that did it. So 330 now. Yeah. So sort you means sort unique. Awesome. Shoot, it's really hard to tell if some of these are Japanese or not. Um, Let's go ahead and run this just for Japanese. Three hundred and thirty. Oh man, that's a lot. Oh yeah, I can write a script. I can do a lot of this work. Oh. Should be long enough. What? Are they Japanese? These aren't Japanese, are they? Oh, this. Uh, what? Maybe these are Japanese. Unless. Okay, wow, these are Japanese. Let's say this one has missing JP. Um, and then we go control V, shift G, D. Sort you. Okay, 20 characters missing in Japanese. Okay, so let's move missing to missing all dot text. And okay, I know I want to do one just for Jap for Chinese, and then just for the Taiwanese, I guess. I just want to keep these separate because. Uh, Good for reference later. All right, one, two, three, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, should be long enough. Let's load everything and whatnot. Okay, here we go. This one's like thousands of lines, but it boils down to only a few hundred.
I'm not trying to write that. Oh, okay, you gotta save it as something. Oops. Missing CN. There we go. Cool, so we got what? 2,000 lines? Not for long. Sort you. Boom, 308 lines. Cool. It looks like maybe a couple of those characters were overlapping. Because this one has 308, the other one had 20, and I know the other one had like four characters or whatever. Okay, let's do it one more time. Um, this time for Taiwanese. I feel like I'm saving somebody a week's worth of work here. Can you imagine how difficult this would be to look through every single string in this entire game, trying to line up characters in a language you don't know, saying, oh, that one's missing, right? You'd have to have intimate knowledge of every string, or really, okay, there's only one missing there, that's great. Don't even really need to sort that one. So here's the here's the tricky part. It's like I need to go and create definitions, a line basically for every single one of these missing So the, here's like the definition, right? It would be something like this. We have to take we have to go find This is the hard part. It's having to look up oh my god, 300 and 300 lines trying to look this up manually? Oh, there's got to be a simpler way. There's got to be. I'm sure there is. Yeah, like, so, like, looking up every single one of these decimal codes for these, this is like, you know, that's decimal 32, 4, 3, 5, and then inputting that here, and then having to imp, uh, paint it into the the graphic and all that, dude. This is this is where the work gets worky. This is some worky work right here. Whoa, look at that. Okay, so this thing's twenty forty eight tall, and it's using almost every single inch. Let's get a little solid color here, so we can see what the heck's going on. All right, this is what the, all these look like. Yeah, I could probably fit 300 characters in here, but this is where it gets really nitpicky. It's like, okay, I can add these characters into here. Oh wait. I could use huh, I might be able to use font this one font app I have which outputs stuff what's it called BM font BM glyph I might be able to use BM glyph for this okay but let's start with the simpler, let's save this as something. That'll work, we'll just Photoshop file there. All right, now, Um, 
Step one. <laughs> All right, let's get the let's do let's start with the simpler ones. Um, in raw sprites font. Apparently we're missing the S with the little curly under it, but it's there. Okay, so we must be just missing the letter definition. Let's get that file open. Man, this that's what this is. Oh. It's with the curly, yo. Oh, dude. No, no, it reloaded. Oh man, it took me so long to get this entire page loaded. Wait, oh, this is A. See, here they are. ID 351 and 350. Is this, yeah. Why is it here missing? Do I get, is there some other? Three fifty one. Oh, yeah. oh, there's another one. Oh, this one might be a comma. Okay, let's make this really big. Okay, it's like that. Pretty sure that's the same one. S with a little curly under it.
we see a character decimal value here. If I have this little, this S, all right, I know there's one of those there, and if I search for one of these S's, uh, See if it's that language. Man, it's a hard enough up. Yeah, I think it's this this one. Oh, see, that one does have a little space. Oh, is the unique? I think the unique function is messing it up. Let's check it. These do have a little space and then a comma. So if I go sort you, oh, is it? Okay, they are. I do see a few of these that are like distinguishable. Okay, so this one is definitely distinct. It shouldn't be in my list yet. Come on.
view display format Unicode. Uh, 250, uh, dude, is this the best way I can do this? Is this by hand? Decimal 537. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, I already have that. Duh, what? Oh. Oh, oh. Uh, all this work might have been for nothing. I just realized that it's probably loading the wrong font, which isn't even used. Okay, so let's try this again. It's, uh, it was loading that Chinese font. Of course, that font probably has some missing characters. Equals and backtick. So we can draw those real quick. Turn off the effects. Render it again as not shadowless. Okay, so just to get it all warmed up, 
this was pretty close to the double quote. Just put these two new ones at the end. We've got equals. And this is plus 16. That's uh, 38, 44. Same y. X advance is only like uh, 6, is probably right. Okay, just need an ID for it. Um, equal sign. There it is, decimal, 61. Let's make sure we don't already have ID equals 61. Cool, okay. Now let's put in the back tick. Ninety-six. This is um, 160. X advance is probably only going to be like three or four. Put this in font shadowless as well. Um, get this compiled. Some miss, weird missing ones, blank missing ones. It's uh, whatever. Okay, so let's run it from here. Now we only have these weird blank ones. Okay, and let's check it visually. Um, I like where it just said God mode. That's a pretty easy thing to check. Here it is, debug alert God mode. Let's just make that say God mode equals back to run that. All we need to do is just visually confirm that, it, that these two new letters can be seen. Cool. Let's do something like this. Smash them together. So we get the X advance just right. Yeah, it's fine. Probably though, this equal sign can go down a pixel, it looked like. Good. Oh, the X advance was a little too short for both of those actually. Make that seven and five. And I 
again. Should we see it copying? It didn't copy, did it? Oh, it did. You can tell. Okay, cool. That looked great. Much better? Great. Okay, so there. We've gotten two characters fixed. Let's get some of this checked in so far. Um, the font, font, font shadowless, and font.psd. Which is all in raw sheets, fonts, and oh, raw, just raw. Wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, okay. Font, font, font. Okay, no, wait, hold on. Let's see that. Yeah, right. So we're just adding two lines, we added two characters. Okay, take a little break. Awesome, so okay, now that we have the process rolling, the next thing to do here is to um, to start with uh, the Taiwanese one, which is only one character, and then the Japanese one, which is 20 characters, and then figure it out how to do like 300 characters at once. Might take a sec. I should be right back, we'll take a little quick little break. This is rolling, right? We're live. Okay.
okay, I just had an idea. Maybe I can actually patch in every single one of these missing characters. Um, with one go. Let's see. Those weren't missing. Let's see. Just delete all these. Okay, so here's all these. We have 329 lines in this file. We sort you. 323 lines. Okay, so there were some overlapping characters in there. Okay, so there we have a list of all our missing characters. Now let's change all these new lines to spaces. Or what? Wait, wait, wait. We don't want to do that. Change all these new lines to change all these new lines to nothing. There. Okay, we got this. Now let's use this BM glyph utility. Hopefully, we can export them all, and then. Ooh, how do we? Can we load up? Load a font. So I think we need uh, assets, textures. This guy. Yeah, go ahead. Boom. All right, good. Great. Um, those characters. Are those invisible? These oh, maybe they. Oh. Maybe they're missing from this font. It's like, what if we just used Arial? Arial works, all right. Okay, we need a proximate height. These are like, oh, about, let's see, each one of these characters is about 18 pixels. Okay, how do we get there? It's style, so it's not all, oh, here we go, no stroke. None of this gradient stuff. Just a color, just white.
Yeah, okay, now we want it to be Don't auto size width forty ninety six. Sort method, width, no, sort method height, no, area, height, like do the row. Wanted to get it all like all in one one row, so it could fit at the bottom of this other one. I don't know if that's gonna happen though. Oh, can I do a really short height? I don't think we have that much 64 pixels though. Dude, this is so tight already. So if I go any bigger, it's gonna, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Should make this thing 4096 by 4096, that's fine. What's this? Height right there. 19, damn. Really convenient. Ooh. Oh, I get it. It's a line on grid thing. That's where you get this width. Uh, if only I could tweak this more. This is the best we're going to get. Let's see what we got so far. Let's save. Let's put this on the desktop. Missing characters. Let's put 
publish it. Oh, oh, okay. Some more options. We just want one target. Okay, we don't want any duplicates with different scales. We just want one, one scale. We want to output the texture. We want to output the coordinates. Same scale. Format Kobo City VM font. Alright. Shoot, I guess that's all we got. Oh, directory path. Just put it on the desktop. File name. Missing. No suffix. Publish. Okay. Save. Okay, so we got something. So we got so far. That's a space character. See, ah, here's the all these y equals. Ah, we need like a program to go through here and add twenty forty eight to all those. Hold on, let's see if we got the right size. width. Oh, why didn't they use the whole width? Oh, because it says the stupid height thing first. I might be able to get it all in if I could just get it to do... Okay, so we want these to be about 12 pixels tall, is that right? I feel like we can get this it's got to be away. Oh, 19. 19. These are a little bit too anti aliased. 17. 17. Okay, let's publish that again. Ah, oh, it's gotta be anti alias. Like crap. Okay. Has to be anti alias. Unless there's a. No, it can't be stroked. It's going to be too much. This is like an inner stroke.
You can already tell. That's looking a little more solid. Okay, good. This looks more like the other font. Now we're at 17 there. This one's about 18. 17. This tall one here is like 17. Dude, we need this to be bigger. Font size 20. That's 19. Nice. That's what we want. About 19. It's about 18. 17. 18. Shoot. I'm going to be able to go to like 22 even. I guess 21 probably would have been better. No, that one's 19. Yeah, probably 21. We now have characters about the right size. I know, it's even almost taking up the whole width. That's good. Okay, I'm going to have to write some code that which processes the font file. But let's see what we got here. If we take this, copy this over, we have to make this thing bigger. Just how it's going to go. Not enough room for these. We'll put on this other layer. Oh. Looks like I can get away with less spacing. These characters look too big. No, they're about the same size as these other ones here. Okay. Um, let's try 
Let's try to get some less spacing. This doesn't change anything. Only we can get it to use its all its width. This thing is just limited, man. How many characters are we... Oh, if only I could... 
squish them together better. This might be the best I can get. Does squish them together, but that doesn't. Let me put them on the same damn line. Does that equal half? Oh no. See, there's no way to fit them all in the same line anyway. Okay, screw it. Whatever, whatever. I was just trying to optimize that texture so it was only 20, 2048 20, tall. Kind of would have been easier, I think. It would have been more efficient, using up less memory.
as it stands, we can only fit in we could have only fit in one I mean look at this, we could barely fit even on this, this bigger row could this actually fit two 40 characters worth of stuff? No. It barely could fit one row anyway. So there's no way we could even fit that many characters in there anyways. So we have to make this 4096. This goes six pixels to there. So many pixels. That is twenty fifty ones. So we need to go three more pixels. Now it's 2048, but oh, we need six more pixels. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this should be 2054 pixels. Thank you. All right, so these are aligned so that if we add 2048 pixels to each one of these and then import it into the stamp font, let's try this out. All right, so we're going to render this. Okay. 
Yes, overwrite that. To ping 24. Okay, great. Now we need to add, we need to edit this. So we need to basically write some code, which is going to edit every single one, one of these. Take every single one of these lines, add 2048 to the Y value. I think I already wrote some code. This is font export. Okay, just gonna mess with this. Oh, this is in raw font export main. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're gonna open up. I input file stream. Um, users not desktop missing got font. Or read, wait, no. Oh, dude. IOS, there's IO stream. We need, we need F stream. Put this in its own function. Look up how to open a file. Forget. We want to off stream actually. So we can write this thing.
So we just open it as an input file and just print to the This file at the all right okay we're in business we've got a freaking line all right now um we want to take find y equals let's, let's go see out line Um, if um, this is line dot find, we're looking for y equals if pause equals string and pause continue. So only output these lines. Boom. Sweet. Okay, so we're going to add 2048 to all the ones that say Y. So now we need to freaking combine these substers and stuff. So let's say line two equals line dot substr starting from pause going to pause two minus pause. So 
So now we should have the y value. Well, this starts with 32, 32, 0. Oh, we need to get rid of that y equals. Oh, actually, we want everything So uh, we need to grab that Y string. So line two equals line dot substring zero length pause plus two. Y sir equals this. Y equals, um, we need to convert this to an integer, which is, oh, what the hell is that function? Um, Parsint is what I call it. Stir to L. Okay, so y equals that, y plus equals 20, or the y offset. Let's do, um, make this a little smarter here. We've got a seek string. So that we can do this is seek dot size this two uh huh okay why is that okay so now we get oh shoot line two should just be a string stream Okay, now let's see that walk through. We need string stream. Oh, or maybe we just need what it, what the, uh, libraries it's s stream. And that needs to be standard. Let's say we're using oh. It's just to using. Oh no, string stream. Almost there.
Okay, so set a breakpoint. Let's walk through each one of these. Okay, so we got that. There's our line. Here's our Y string, 32 space W. No, that's not right. Oh, minus seek size. There we go, y string is 32. Y is 32. Add the y offset, 2048. S, I wish I could see S. Yes. Nice, it worked. So now let's just run it. Boom. All right, let's give this all a shot. I mean, there we go. Boom. Those are all our output. We're going to copy this onto the end of this. And shoot, let's hope this works. How are we going to test this? Well, we need to be in language. Um, Chinese. And we can just test the continue string. That's one of them that's missing. Just pause the game and the continue string was missing before. Okay, it's still gonna do its like little testy thing there, that's fine. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> what did I do? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Um, it's because here, it's still doing this whole show all missing characters thing. So really the only thing that should be changed in Songbringer's code is that their game does seem to be good. Okay, so now we should run it again. We're in language Chinese. It shouldn't do its little testy thing. And we should be able to pause and it should have the very first string have two Chinese characters. It has one character.
and it's a little small. It's okay, we've got everything in place to be able to redo it. Um, what's missing? Let's find out. Um, um, strings Chinese. We're looking for menu continue. That character is missing. Is it in this list of characters? There it is. Well, I'm, I need to show, let's make a, do show Unicode. A little function here, make a, I want a, a U16 string. U6. Six, Now we're going to loop through a string. Say see out. Stir I equals int stir I. Convert that into a UTF-8 before we can export it.
Yes. Sweet. Now we got a list of all these. Okay, so. What's that missing character? This one. Offset negative seven, that doesn't seem right. X advanced twenty one, that seems about right. Thirteen fifty four, let's double check. That's there. That looks like it, yeah. Set. Is it the X offset of the character before it? Come on, give me some love. Did I even copy? Son of a... Let's add like a regular old English character there. Oh, it's got that character, but not the character before it. This has got like a s asterisk almost there on the right. Ah, okay. What the hell's up with this one? All right, handy dandy list of characters. I do not found what the shit.
Okay, wait, let's run this for Chinese. Let's run this, um... This guy. Let's see what's missing. Oh man, what time is it? I gotta go. Oh, I gotta go. Ah, uh, well, okay, I gotta call it quits on this stream or in this video, but I'm hot on the trail here. Actually, let's just run this. Let's see what happens here. Run this once. We'll see what characters are now missing. Maybe it's, maybe you can get some clarity here. I'm thinking maybe the sort function accidentally squashed the character out. Or maybe just didn't recognize it in the first place. There we go. One, two, three, four. That's good enough. Yeah. They're all that same character. Somehow that one character got just missing. Okay, so all I need to do is run this again. Do this whole process again. This time adding in that one character, which I just did. And um, yeah. Re-export this ping and make sure the, fo the font sizes were a little bit too small. So anyways, yeah, there's some things left to do, but on the right track. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, wow, two hours of Unicode. Hope that was interesting just for somebody. Unicode's crazy. It's, a lot, it's, it's like very, uh, very detailed work. But anyways, hopefully that was valuable to somebody out there. Um, again, appreciate you watching, and uh, thanks, and 